it's Teresa with Craving Crochet. Back today with a tutorial. And the tutorial I'm doing today is going to be how to make a mask. Here's the mask I came up with. It's actually a square. And then you fold it in half, like so. You can put in a piece of paper towel or another piece of cotton in the center. That's why I did it as a square. And then you make ties and you put it on and it's, it's great. So this work acts as a filter. So I will be right back to show you what it looks like on me. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. I don't know if you can hear me. I sound all muffled, <laughs> but this is it. So I've got four ties. I explained it all in the tutorial. Uh, try and show you the back. I don't know if you can see it, but here are the ties. Hopefully you can see that. And then you can just see it's kind of cinched so you put this on if you have to go shopping or if you have to be outside in public uh, it's kind of light it's cotton so it's breathable and I talk all about it in the tutorial so hang on I'm gonna show you something else I'll be right back okay so so here it is again. I just wanted to mention that it is a square. It's kind of lost its shape. Oh. Anyways, it's a square and I do it in corner to corner stitch. And so if you're making this for a child, I did 14 rows, but if you're making this for a child, you can make it a lot smaller. This is way too big for a child. So I would make it maybe seven rows or 10 rows. I don't know, you'd have to kind of like try, try and measure it on the child as you're doing it. But I thought once this pandemic is over, you got a beautiful washcloth, <laughs> which you can reuse. If you want, you can secure these on. I haven't really secured them on. Um, so that, I don't know, I cannot, I, I should secure them on so that when I'm using it, it's just easier, right? But anyways, that's it. Um, the tutorial is coming and stay tuned. I hope you enjoy it. It's quite easy. It didn't take long to make it all. So stay tuned for the tutorial. Thanks. Okay, so today I'm gonna be using this lovely cotton yarn to create this mask. It is a Bernat Handicrafter Cotton and it is a medium four, uh, machine wash and dryable, 100% USA grown cotton and the crochet size hook they recommend is five millimeter so that's what I'll be using. Okay. So here is my five millimeter hook. And we start this project always with a slip knot, like so. Okay. Then you chain six to start. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then you count down to the fourth chain on the hook. So one, two, three, four, yarn over and create a double crochet in that chain space so 
So that's one. Let me grab more yarn. So that's one. And then go into the next chain space and make another double crochet. That's two. And then go into the last one and make another double crochet. So that's that's your first block. This is going to be a corner to corner pattern. Okay, so we've made our first block and then to make another block, whenever we're on this side where the um, your beginning where we made the slip stitch, you've got this uh, tail hanging over here. This is the side that you're always going to use to increase. So when you increase, you always make six chains. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over, count down to the fourth chain, one, two, three, and four, and make a double crochet in there. That's one, make a double crochet in the fifth chain. That's two, and make a double crochet in the sixth chain. Okay. Okay, so we've made our second block and then once we do that, we do, see how the two points are facing down, you grab this one on the left hand side, flip it up, and you're going to make a slip stitch in that chain three space, like so, and then chain three, one, two, three, and then make three double crochets. Let me get this out of the way. Three double crochets in that chain three space to make our third block. So that's one double crochet, two double crochets, and three double crochets. So that's the first row, that's your second row. Okay, so now if you flip it over like this, this is again where that tail is. So when we reach this point, we have to increase again. So whenever we're on this side with this little tail, that's our increase side. So we make a chain of six again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yarn over, go down to the fourth chain on the hook. One, two, three, four. Make a double crochet in that space, chain, like so. That's one. Oh, my yarn is getting stuck here on this label. Nice. <laughs> so that was one. <laughs> Always technical difficulties, right? When you're trying to demonstrate. So that was one double crochet in the fourth. Then we go into the fifth, make another double crochet. That's two. And then in the sixth, make another double crochet. So that's three. So again, all the points of the blocks are facing downwards. So what do we do? We grab the left hand side and flip it. And then we're going to make a slip stitch in that chain space of the previous block made, like so. Chain three, one, two, three. Three double crochets in that chain space. One. Two. Three. Okay, and then 
we've reached the end again so we're going to make slip stitch chain three one two three and we got to make another block in here so that's three any more yarn three double crochets once again so that was one double crochet two double crochets and three double crochets so now we are on row we've done row three see there's one two three that was the first one this was the second row this is the third row so again if you flip it and you've got that tail on that edge what do we do here we have to increase so whenever we reach this point we always increase so we do that by chaining six one, two, three, four, five, six, and then yarn over, go to the fourth chain on the hook, one, two, three, four, and we make a double crochet in that, that chain space, or in that chain, one, then go to the fifth, make another double crochet, that's two, and then go into the sixth, make another double crochet, and that is three. So again, the points are all facing down. What do we do when the points are facing down and we finish the block? We flip it so they're facing up. Go into this chain space of the block just to the left of the one you just completed. Make a slip stitch, chain three, and make three double crochets in that chain space. Okay, so I did the chain three. So I'm gonna make three double crochets. One, two, and three. And then I'm gonna go into this block and slip stitch in that chain three space. Chain three, one, two, three, three double crochets in that chain space, that chain three space, one, two, three. Okay, see how it's growing? Go into the very last block make another block by slip stitching chain three one two three and then three double crochets one two and three you see how it's starting to form there's that L shape again with the tail when you see that L shape we increase so you see how this is forming an edge here and it's forming an edge here. So as you continue to work this pattern, you're always increasing here and eventually it's going to be a large square. So I want you to work this pattern. I will tell you uh, how many squares we're gonna need in just one second. Okay, so I believe that we're going to need to work this pattern to reach about, so right now it's about 10. So we need to go all the way to about 34 centimeters. So I don't know how many blocks that's going to be. I'm just going to keep working and measuring, working and measuring, and you do the same thing until you reach about 34 centimeters. 34 or 35? I think 34 will be big enough um, and then once you c get to that size uh, I will meet you back okay I am back I have made a total of hold on let me measure this I thought it said 30 30 about 32 
32 centimeters, 32, 33 centimeters, something like that, close to that. So I did another row after I did that and it was way too big, 36. I don't want it to get too, too big. So I did a total of 14 rows. So one, I'll show you. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. That was the last one. And then this is usually where we start to do the increase again. So you make the six chains and then you do a single crochet in the fourth, fifth, or sorry, a double crochet in the fourth, fifth, and sixth chain. But now what we're gonna do is we're gonna turn this diamond shape, triangle, into a square. And so what we need to do is we're going to start decreasing on each side of this triangle. So eventually, so see how it's, let me see if I can show you. See how it's wide, so then it's going to start coming, well, it's going to end up being a square. <laughs> so this is half of the square, and we're going to finish the other half of the square. So what we do, we made that last block and this is where we would normally do the, the increase of six chains, like I said. So what we do is we chain one, turn, and then make a single or slip stitch in there in the first uh, double crochet of the previous block. A second one, slip stitch, a third one, slip stitch, and then in the chain three space, slip stitch. Okay, so you need to have your hook here. Chain three, one, two, three, three double crochets in that chain three space. One, two, three, so see? Now we're going to start working it all the way. So continue doing this like we were doing before. So you made your um, slip stitch in that space of the, the other block on the left. Chain three again. One, two, Three, work three double crochets in that chain three space. One, two, and three. So carry on in this fashion, making again, going into that chain three space, slip stitch, three double crochets. And the next one, slip stitch, three double crochets all the way till you get to about this part and then I will meet you back when we get to the other end. All right, so I've come up to the uh, other side now. So what we need to do here again is slip stitch, chain one and turn. And then do what we did again on the other side is by slip stitching all the way across the previous block that we just made. Three slip stitches in each of the double crochets and then another one in that three chain in that chain three space. Chain three and then three double crochets into that chain three space. Oops. I'll do that again slower. <laughs> there. So there was a chain three and the three double crochets. Then we go to the next one again and just carry on in this fashion by doing a slip stitch, chain three, three double crochets. I'll 
we'll just do one more. Like that. You see how it's decreasing now? It's becoming more like a block, right? On this side and on this side. So continue in this way all the way across until we get here. And then when we get here, it, this, the block is going to be right beside here. And then we're going to do a slip stitch here, but I'll show you one more time. And then I think that by that, by the time we finish this one, then you'll kind of get the gist of it. But I'll be back when I reach right here. Okay, so I've come all the way across. I've reached the other side. So we have to decrease again. So you just go into that block that's there so that it now the one that you just made and you connected it to the other one with the slip stitch they all connect together you're going to chain one again turn and just repeat what we just did prior to this and that is to once again make slip stitches all the way across like so one two three and then in that chain three space so that your hook is in position again and then just repeat chain three three single crochets in that chain three space so one two, three, and then just continue doing this in each of these blocks. When you get to this block, you make one more block and then you're going to attach it the way I just did. Chain one turn, go through the um, chain three space and the three double crochets and just carry on. So you're always, when you get to the end, you decrease. When you get to the end, you decrease. So here we've got one, let me show you one, two, three, four blocks. And then this has three blocks, but when we get here, it's gonna have four blocks. So eventually these, this is all going to meet and it's gonna become a square. So just carry on that way until you get to your square. I'll come back when I'm just about finished the square and then I'll show you the next step. Okay, we're at the home stretch. We're almost done. So just continue with the, there's two blocks left or actually one block left. So we're going to work into the last block by making a slip stitch, chain three, and then making your three double crochets in that chain three space okay and then we just simply slip stitch to join okay so I've finished uh, my last block from one side and I did the um, slip stitches through. Now what I have to do is chain three. One, two, three, and make three double crochets in that chain three space. That's two, and that's three, and we've come to the end. So now all we have to do is slip stitch to join. And here we have our square, our corner to corner square. So now we just have to fasten off. So I'm going to just chain one and 
cut my yarn and I've completed I've completed my square so the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fold this in half and this is what's going to become your mask so what I thought is this is a washcloth this can be used as a washcloth so when this pandemic is over you can reuse this mask by just removing the ties and using it as a washcloth so it's not just a mask but when you need to use it as a mask you fold it in half and we're going to make some ties that are going to go in here and in here and then it's going to go around your head you can put in um, another piece of you can put in another piece of fabric or you can put in um, a tissue or a piece of um, paper towel like something else as another because the more layers you have the better so you'll have this will be double layered right the way it is now and then you just put in a piece of paper towel and that will be that will act as your as like a filter and then you can remove the paper towel when you're finished toss it out you can wash this in the washing machine or whatever you want by hand and it's reusable and you can just use it over and over so I'm just gonna make some ties and I'll show you um, the finishing steps to this mask okay so what I did was I've been trying it on too that's why it kind of looks messy but I did put a piece of paper towel as like a filter that you can put in the middle so you've got three layers you've got this first layer of the the square you've got the paper towel or a tissue it could be a piece of fabric that you have like scrap t-shirts something made out of cotton would be good because it's nice and light and breathable and then you've got this other piece from the other half of the square when you fold it in ha half you get a nice rectangle and so what I did was I made four of these chains okay I did four and I made a total of 60 chains on each so there's two ways you can use these okay one way was the way I put it here what I did was I just put one end in and I weaved it through in and out in and out in and out through those uh, chain three spaces through the bigger part of the uh, corner to corner so I did that on one side I did on the other side and then you can just cinch it like so cinch it on both sides like so So you have like a cinched mask so then you flip it around and you put it on so that's one way you can wear it with the cinched ties and just tie it around your head or another way would be to weave in two um, not two what am I saying one of the one of these I'll just I'm just gonna sh demonstrate I'll be right back okay so I removed those other ones that were in here previously and so what you do is you take one of the ties and you feed it through Should I do it again yeah like this so you just feed it through one corner, the top. Make it even. Then you take another tie. So you should have a total of four if you prefer this method without cinching. I kind of like this method because it gives you, I feel like it gives you more, a little bit more security. There's the other one in the other corner. Then you put the other one on the other corner like so hopefully you can see what I'm doing 
like that. And then you take the last one and you put it on the, the last corner. Like so. So then all you have to do is you put the top two around the top part of your head and then the bottom two will be more near the end of your the bottom of your neck so it will come around your mouth and your chin and it gives you a lot of security so you tie it here and here around your neck so that's it for today um, I'm going to be using this I'm going to be making more for my family because I can't find any masks anywhere and if this is going to become a mandatory thing I don't know it could be we could be getting another round I have no idea what's going on but I figured let me make myself some and then I could share them on my YouTube channel with those of us who are um, crochet people I recommend you do use a nice cotton a nice cotton uh, you could do it in acrylic too that would probably be good for when it, the weather gets colder but I feel like this is really breathable and then you've got the little filter in the middle you just toss that when you're done toss this in the washing machine and you're good to go and then when this pandemic is finally over you have a beautiful washcloth <laughs> So anyways, that's it for now. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It's pretty easy and it kind of fits um, what, what's happening in our world today. So if you feel like you need to make yourself something, it doesn't take long at all. It's a really fast, fast project. So I hope you enjoyed it. Please give me a thumbs up if you did. And uh, share it if you like to share it with family and friends and um, everyone stay safe and I thank you for being here and subscribing thank you for any new subscribers that are here and everyone stay safe and God bless take care bye